Welcome to our theater. This theater came together with actually the real reason being education. Uh, Otto Frank started a foundation when he found the transcripts of his daughter. And his goal was to educate a new generation about the Holocaust through the book. And the first thing he did when he, uh, that made the book so famous, he produced the play on Broadway. He got the, the, the book to be a play. And now, 55 years later, that same foundation asked us to create a new version of the play based on the original text from Anne and Frank. And it was a, not only a great honor, but also a huge responsibility because it's, of course, a really, really difficult subject matter. And when we were asked to do this, uh, the condition was you can only do it in Amsterdam, where the story originated. But then what? How do you find a new audience, a young audience, to come to a, the to a theatrical experience that is an event? And that's why we built this theater, because uh, my company called Imagination has a mission statement to do, to do these kind of subject matters and build a new relationship between, or challenge the relationship between the audience and the performance. So when you think of Anne as a play, you think of small rooms, a small production. That's not what this is. It's actually a huge production, and you see a little bit of an example behind me, because what we did with the creative team was recreate as much as we could Anne's living environment on a one-to-one -one scale. So behind me is the Merweideplein, which is where she grew up. Actually, this whole thing comes down because she lived on the third floor, but if we would open up the third floor, you couldn't look in. So we had to lower the whole third floor, and this opens up, and then you're in her living environment. And this is where she lived until they went into hiding. So they, they took their bikes, and they went to the to the little factory where Otto Frank lived. And so these behind me are huge sets that are as closely uh, on a one-to-one -one scale and replica of a living environment. And I'd like to show you a little video of what that looks during the performance. Ik zal hoop ik aan jou alles kunnen toevertrouwen. Van harte gefeliciteerd. So you can see, it's not a small production, it's huge. And that's important, and I want to explain why. Because we really want to, uh, to, to involve a new generation. And we started a foundation that does exactly that. So we, it enables kids, school kids, to come here in groups. And when they do, we, uh, we learn something amazing. The theater is an ideal, ideal platform for people to be educated. Because when, when teenagers come here, their, their cell phones go off, the lights go off, and they're alone 
with this amazing story coming alive right in front of their eyes. And it has a huge impact on them. Not only the history that they think they know or have heard about, but also they're watching somebody of their age dealing with the same problems that they're dealing with. And it's amazing how they react. And one of the things that really, really strikes us is when we talk to them, is they immediately pick up the, re the relevance of this story towards what's going, around, uh, going on around them today. So we love this. We love the fact that we can involve this new generation. And I know today it's really all about education. And I want to tell you that I truly believe that the theater, the live theater, is an ideal way to communicate important historical, cultural uh, messages to a new audience. And anything you can do to help us find that audience, I would love because we love this play. And I'm really proud and happy that you're here with us in, in our theater. Thank you very much.